Friday, and it was, there were so many Bandits fans there, and I couldn't believe how few fans in general were at the game. I mean, it yeah. was, they didn't sell out the upper row at all. They had it all closed off. So it's really incredible to see 16,000 Bandits fans at the arena, uh, you know, all the time for these games. And watching on TV Friday night, it sounded like yes. a home game for the Bandits. Yes, there were a lot of loud oh, fans yeah. there. Four trips to the championship in a row. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. Yeah, but they've won. They've <laughs> that's, won. That's right? a big difference. <laughs> right. They've come home with victories a couple times. Yeah, it's exciting. I can't wait. Yeah, not this weekend, but uh, the following weekend as we, we're, we're, uh, we're going to see these matches. Can't wait. All right, uh, we've got uh, some clearing skies. It's shaping up to be a pretty nice day. Uh, we had a lot of cloud cover this morning, some dense fog. That is lifting, although along the uh, lake shore, there should be uh, a little fog remaining. Uh, otherwise, it's looking okay. So, yeah, mostly cloudy, but... Looking to the north, I'm seeing uh, blue skies, so we'll go with a uh, partly uh, cloudy or partly sunny afternoon. Uh, you can see the veil of clouds over us, but a lot of them are thin clouds. So uh, by this afternoon, I think a fair amount of sun will peek through with temperatures in the upper 60s with, again, some clearing despite the clouds this morning. Uh, clear tomorrow uh, down into the 40s to start the day, but a gorgeous finish. My goodness, a beautiful Tuesday. Sunshine with temperatures in the mid 70s. The weather takes a turn for the end of the week. We'll have that forecast coming up. All right. Thank you, Patrick. Coming up. After